In this lesson, we're going to incorporate Google Maps with a specific title and location. So once you click on that, you're given to um, locations here that you can change. So let's check out this first one. And it gives you the latitude and longitude here. So I'm going to click on cancel. And then let's say you want to add your own location. So you want to click on add marker. And you put in the name. And then you can put whatever you whatever it is that you want to put. In. I'm just going to put in the location. Okay, then you can put in a link of the location. And then you want to put in an image. I'm just going to grab something on, on file. And then you want to put in the latitude and the longitude. Now there's a website that you can go to, which is the mondeca.com. And you can put in the address right here and just click on search. And it is going to give you your latitude and your longitude. So I'm just going to copy this here for the latitude and then uh, paste it here and do the same thing for the longitude. So once that's been pasted there, I just click on save. So now I've added my location here and the map is automatically going to show where that is. And you can click to see the labels. You can use the map or the satellite. You can choose to see the terrain. And once that's done, you can go over to styling and you can choose your zoom level. As you move it, you know, it gets a little bit closer. And then you can choose the roadmap type. Do you want it to be a hybrid, a roadmap, a satellite? So once you make change to the hybrid, that's what it looks like. You make a change to a terrain. It's going to show you the terrain layout. And then you can choose the element that you want to show. Do you want to show everything? Or you can check out the zoom. You can remove the street view. And whatever you click here is going to automatically adjust the map for you. You can choose the appearance, the animation. And you can also choose the margin. You can choose the dimension. Uh, the container style, how do you want it to be? You can choose the alignment. So let's go on the front end and see what this looks like. And you can also move locations up and you can move them down. So let's click on save. So when you refresh the home page, let's take a look and see what we've got. So now you have the map here. You can go up, you can zoom down. So there's another great way for you if you have a you know a place of business that you want to show people uh, the location for, then you can definitely utilize this.